Hello and welcome to the Savvy Gadgets channel with me, Ian, otherwise known as Ven. Before we continue, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you find this tutorial video useful and head over to our Facebook page or our Twitter feeds and follow us there and check out what I'm posting. If you feel like supporting my channel further, then don't forget to head over to Patreon and make a donation. In this video I want to cover over the support missions and the reason I want to do the support missions is because it involves the use of the Maverick uh, suit and the arc cutting tool and how to use it. Now usually the support missions involve taking an item, a, a power regulator, to a facility which is sometimes empty, sometimes not. Um, in other words it's uninhabited except by raiders and scavengers. Uh, to, who are there to basically do what you, you're trying to do and it's like get some gear for your upgrades for your weapons really because it's a good opportunity to do that but the idea of the mission is you're given a power regulator you have to get to the power area or the power building and um, put the regulator in the machine now in order to do that you need to actually cut your way through the door or the access panel on the outside and then use the energy tool to actually power the door so you can then get through it like I said sometimes you come across these missions and there it's just an empty area and once you've got the power up it gives you the option to because you've got a security level of three to walk around and then find any lockers with some goodies in them like weapon schematics or manufacturing instructions and perhaps some of the other bits and pieces that you need for your upgrades so I'm gonna pick one of those up and we're gonna go and take a look at those missions and how to complete them. Okay, so here we are at the terminal and I've brought myself the Dominator suit, so I want to create myself a new loadout. So I'm going to go over to the Edit Loadout tab here, and as you can see I've already got two. I've got one for the default flight suit and that's given to you to start off with. <coughs> and for that you get the Energy Link and the Profile Analyzer as the tools and you get the side armor or side arm of the Karma P15. Now once you build up some money you can then use the you, buy this a new suit and you can have the next suit up which is the Maverick it's a support suit and you can buy yourself uh, a much heavier weapon in this case I've got the Karma AR15 which is the assault rifle and uh, the Karma P15 which is the side arm so the Maverick suit comes with the energy link profile analyzer and the arc cutter so we're going to create ourselves a new profile or a new loadout for the new suit that we brought so as you can see maverick suit has the arc cutter on it flight suit doesn't and neither does the dominator suit but the dominator suit actually has two primary weapon slots so we're going to choose that one <coughs> we're going to choose our Karma AR-50, then we're going to choose our rocket launcher, and then we're going to have our sidearm P-15. And we're going to save that as rockets galore. And there we go, fantastic. So that is now a loadout for us that we can equip when we're in space. Uh, so uh, I'll show you how to do that now once we've got all of that sorted out we can now pick up a mission okay so I'm gonna take this one and as you can see it quite clearly says you need the Maverick suit in order to complete this mission this is so you can cut through the doors um, now once the powers online this gives me an opportunity to have a, have a look so you can also see that it's got a threat level of three so I'm likely to encounter some scavengers so we'll see when we get there okay so booking a shuttle this one's slightly different this is actually needs uh, a distance to travel to a different system so when I'm booking the shuttle this time when you go to a local shuttle you'll notice that the this active missions there are no active missions so if we go back and go I'd like a long-range shuttle it comes up with a black screen <laughs> it says then the active mission is there and then we go hey this is where I want to go 
and as you can see you follow the blue uh, icon and you can select the drop off point it's going to load up the system map so then we go over there and then we go drop off point and then we book a shuttle that costs 7,000 credits so at this point is, well, is it worth doing it should I take my own Spit for, uh, sidewinder, but uh, should be ready to depart. There we go. Go to hangar. Now I stand to gain quite a bit from this. It's uh, uh, one thousand, one hundred and fifty odd thousand. This one. So in the shuttle first thing I want to make sure of is in my inventory I have the power regulator which I do and then we want to board and then the next thing I want to do is make sure that I've got the right loadout so press number three to look at my loadouts and then from a loadout we'll pick out my maverick suit so I know when I get there I've got all the tools that I need and then I just sit back and relax and wait for the shuttle pilot to take me there. Okay, so we're coming into land, so what I'm looking for is activity. And I can see on the right hand side there are torches, which means I'm not alone. And the place has scavengers in it. So I'm going to have to be sneaky because I need to turn on the power. Uh, but I can't because I am i don't really have a good weapon. Uh, I can't really go toe to toe with these guys, so I'm going to have to be sneaky with how I go about combat. Now, first thing I'm looking for is that symbol there, which gives me access to some ammunition, so I know where there's some ammo. Now, there is no power here, it's cold, so I'm not going to last too long, but I need to sort of get into a position where I can take these guys on. Now, with low gravity, that's pretty easy. So what I'm going to do, make my way up here, get my gun out. As you can see, there's quite a few of them about. But if you actually look at them, they're not on alert at the moment. So at the, to start off with, they don't have any shields on. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take advantage of that. So I'm going to take that. Now you've got different types of, you've got scouts, you've got commandos, and you've got strikers. Now... Scouts use sort of low level weapons, don't have that much shields. A commando do, they have like three levels of shields. So, where's the power plant? That's, uh, I think it's over the back here. So, you can see the power symbols, they're not the power plant. And you have to use the buildings to your advantage. Yeah, there we go, that's the place by the looks of it. Now, as soon as I set foot down there, they're going to start having a go at me. There's a door on the side and there's a door in the front. And I'm not going to take hold of these guys easy, because as soon as I start shooting one, all of his mates are going to turn up. But, like I say, if I can use the building's height to my advantage, because they don't jump, if there's no stairs up, then I'm in a good position to take a take a stance as it were and as I've got some energy cells if I just check my uh, I don't I ain't, don't have any energy cells so I've not got a lot so I'm gonna have to either sneak this quickly or find some energy cells somewhere now you do find them lying around but then that gives me time okay so I'm doing my best to Oh, that's interesting. To hide from the guards. Oh, they found me. I still haven't found any energy.
I know where I am. This looks like it's going to be a toughie. I'm still using the buildings to my advantage. Uh, Oh, that commander had one bar. They've obviously changed that as part of the uh, alpha test two, phase two, because they had like uh, three bars previously. I was trying to lure them away from the power plant. Doesn't seem to be working. But you can see, or oh, sometimes you can just hear them turn off their shields. Now I am beginning to run out of suit power. Ideally, see this guy's taking his taking his uh, shield off. And with a bit of luck, that means I can probably. Get down here, equip the arc tool, and quickly rip that up. Okay, that's good. I can then charge up the door and then get in. Right. Okay, hopefully, get my weapon out. If I torch, so E, power regulator, transfer from backpack, confirm item transfer, and then over to the console, power engage the regulator. Huh. Right, so now I've got a few options, and I now have access to power. Get down here. Once it powers up. Now they can't get in because they don't have clearance. Oh, you can. So it's time to leave. But this now gives me the opportunity to fight them. Because now I have access to power. Now I can either leave, or what I can do is I can actually try taking these guys down. Because if I do take them on, and I win, for each one of them I kill, I get a bounty. But now I have access to power throughout the facility, so I can sort of jump around on top of the buildings, recharge my suit find ammo which is down the right hand side of that building and then once I've taken care of all these guys what I can do is then take a look around at the lockers and uh, see if I can find anything interesting so I'll take these guys out from up here on a high as you see this is the so I almost took him down you see and now all I have to do is wait for them to uh, drop their shields again because otherwise I've got to mow down their shields as well. But that guy's nearly dead. So that's what I'm going to do. And I will record a few of them getting killed off. Go on, turn your shield off. You know you want to. Everyone else has. Oh well, maybe we can take that guy out instead. Yay! Oh, hide behind the building for cover. There was another bounty for me there. Oh, someone's seen me. Ping. Now there are medical kits down there which I can access. <coughs> and I know where my ammo is. There's about six or seven guys 
around and what annoys me the most is the turrets and the sentries just are not engaging them at all it's like help for god's sakes okay so i'm still camping out on the top of this building and as you can see i'm doing really quite well i've managed to take out quite a few of them uh, i've got about three left see that guy's still got full health but this guy down here is now dead <laughs> 15,000 credits to my for me to pick up when I get back okay so I'm trying to take on this command though just here you can see how many bullets I'm using to just get through his shields and that took about three clips now if you're facing down nine different enemies you're just not going to have enough ammunition at a lower level to fight them off so I think there's only one more person I need to take on. I actually found some energy cells as well um, they were in a container so from the landing pad they were down here so around that area oh there it is there's the box up just at the bottom of the stairs so I now have energy cells, so I've got to remember that for later on. So I can spend a much longer period of time, uh, time outside, not have to worry about my energy levels because I've now got the energy cells to put in my suit and recharge my suit. <clears throat> so just one more guy to take care of, and then I'm going to take a look around the base for goodies. Okay, so I've managed to take care of all of the bad guys in the area and uh, I'm now staying at a terminal. And the reason I'm here is because uh, what I want to do is I want to find the location of the security lockers. Uh, and they're going to be in the command centre and they're probably going to be in operations uh, or security. So there's a security locker there and quite handily it gives me the co key code of 3648 now I can take a note of that and then uh, if I go to operations there's the tech locker is that the corridor? so tech locker 0 and 1 uh, with a key code of 5 one nine five one nine four and three nine four zero. Oh. Now I'm quite likely to find weapon schematics in those, so as I'm the only one here, let's go take a look. Um, because I've highlighted, it's going to tell me exactly where they are. And as I have a high security clearance, I can go through the door. No one's going to catch me stealing anything because nobody's here. It's just me. It also gives me the chance to stock up as well. So through these doors, so you'll find them on either side. So that's uh, one of the lockers. Nah, I didn't write the code down, did I? <laughs> Usually it tells me what the code is. Oh, right, there it is. So that one, because I've highlighted it, gives me the key code. Uh, so if I interact with that and go, what was it, 3940, so 3940, and there we go, and there we have a personal computer and that's about it. Uh, if we take a look at in here as well, that one we can just open, uh, scrambler, take that, circuit board, Take all of these bits and pieces. Electrical wiring, circuit board, right, okay, fine. Uh, there's another one. What's the, oh, let's just point towards the command center. Let's see. Now, the other thing is, is this has got a mag lock on it. So, what I can actually do is use my cutter tool to cut the mag lock if I don't want to use the codes. And hey presto, the door is open. And there it is, weapon schematic. A uh, building schematic, very nice. Some other bits and pieces that I don't actually need at the moment. Uh, weapon schematic, excellent. A vehicle schematic, weapon, ship. Oh, I can't take them. Oh no! But it doesn't matter because I can take another mission like this, and you know, pick up others. 
which is fine and dandy as far as I'm concerned. But now I need to try and find um, the other bits and pieces that I need. Uh, so, oh, there's a maglock over there. Let's see if we can just carve our way through this one as well. It's the best opportunity. Computer, compact library. So most of these I can just take back to base. Graphene. So all of these are assets. You notice that there are different pools. There's a pool of eight uh, for the goods and a, a different pool for other bits and pieces. Uh, there's one more locker that I know of, which is on the ground floor over here. Past the cells and it's through this door. And it's just there, and again, it's got the maglock on. You can just cut the maglock with the octo. And there uh, we've got a universal translator. Not particularly interested in that, but that's it. Job done. I can now go back, sell my ill gotten gains, put in my bounties, and uh, the jobs are good. I've just noticed that the turrets are attacking this ship for whatever reason, I don't know why. It's not my shuttle, my shuttle's just arriving over here. Okay, so I'm back on the concourse at Savistia Vision, where I picked up the mission to start off with, and so I'm now going to complete it. So, complete mission, and reactivate it, and then because I've got a lot of money, I'm actually going to go for reputation. I could go for influence, but you know, I'm more interested in, in rep at the moment. So there we go. Mission complete, rewards, and all the rest of it. However, whilst I'm here, don't forget, I uh, also killed quite a few scavengers. And what that means is I should have bounties. And there we go go I've got 91,000 in bounties on those scavengers that I took care of so it's worth taking the time to take to take them out and get the bounty and now we redeem it and now I'm an I have even more money to my name fantastic so there we go that's it that's uh, how to complete the uh, support missions uh, how to get around the galaxy uh, do some loadouts and then uh, you know that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to check out our Facebook page. Uh, follow us on Twitter. And if you really enjoyed this video, then uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to support my channel further, head over to Patreon. But until the next video, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.